The first thing you will probably notice is that the oil and water do not mix. A molecule is just about the tiniest part of any substance. The molecules of water are repelled by the molecules of oil. They do not like to mix. Even if you shake the bottle and it looks completely mixed up, it will eventually separate again. Because food coloring is water-based, it can only color the water. Did you notice that when you put the drops of food coloring in, it went right past the oil and down to the water and started to affect that? The oil is not affected or colored by the food coloring. The next thing you noticed is that the oil stayed on the top and the water sank to the bottom. Oil is lighter or less dense than water. Think of a rock and a sponge that are about the same size. You might picture how the rock is significantly heavier than the sponge. Even though they are the same size, the rock is much heavier because it is more dense. Now here's the neat part. The Alka-Seltzer tablet reacts with the water. That means that it does the exact opposite of what happened to the water and the oil. Not only does the Alka-Seltzer mix with the water, but the molecules of both combine to create something new. And that new thing is a gas, or air, called carbon dioxide. This little air bubble sticks to the water and lifts it through the oil to the top of the bottle. When the bubble pops, the water sinks again to the bottom of the bottle.